Hey you guys, it's Moonlander here today with a review of the movie Kersha. This is a directorial debut of Trey Edward Schultz. And he directed the new movie coming out called It Comes at Night, which I'm looking forward to. But this is a unique movie in that it was filmed in his mom's house in nine days. And it's about a family, and a lot of the family in the movie are actually family members of the director. So this movie introduces you to a character named Kersha, who's in her 60s, and she's visiting her family for Thanksgiving. And she has been away from them for some time. And you find out that her son is living there and has been raised by her sister and her husband. And she does not have a close relationship with her son. Now you can definitely tell that the main character of this movie has some problems. When she pulls up to the house you can see that she has shut her dress in her truck door. And they keep showing throughout the movie how she has medication in a lockbox that she needs to take. And the movie's about the difficult situation that she's going through by being reunited with her family. And it's definitely awkward for her. And you can tell she has issues, whether they be mental or what. And the movie is also about the difficult situation it is for the rest of the family. And as you, it goes on, uh, you find out that she has a history of substance abuse. And they're giving her a chance, or her sister is, by letting them back into their lives. And she's been entrusted with the preparation and cooking of the Thanksgiving turkey. So the things I liked about this movie is the fact that he used his real family members. It worked really well. Like, I was blown away by how good the family was and realistic. It just felt real. This movie had really good music. At the beginning of the movie, it, it felt like 20 minutes where it had this really stressful and tension building music that really added to the feel of the movie and it definitely helped you understand the main character <laughs> the things i didn't like about this movie is i had no idea what it was about and i thought it was gonna be about like a crazy woman being reunited with her family so it kind of, I couldn't help but be a little bit disappointed that that's not what it was just because I thought that would have been more entertaining and for some reason the beginning of the movie led me to believe that but it was actually about a, a relapse so... And the only other thing uh, I didn't really care for it is it ends very abruptly. And I mean, I it still works, you know. I mean, you can, you know, be left to your own imagination about what happens next. But for some reason, I just wasn't expecting it to end so abruptly. So it kind of left me with a small amount of disappointment. So my final thoughts on this movie is it is a very realistic family drama and I find that interesting and I enjoyed it a great deal. And I also can appreciate that it's a very personal story to the director. I guess he based it off of a cousin from his family who did relapse at a family reunion and uh, she died shortly after that. So um, the fact that the family got involved and uh, just the acting I thought was incredible. Like his mom that uh, is in the movie and she has a very powerful scene with the main character. I just couldn't believe how well done and how well it came off. And uh, it, it's really a unique thing. I mean, I can't think of any movie where they made it this way. 
And I definitely look forward to it comes at night. And I would say even more so now. All I've seen of it is the trailer. And it looks like it's well done just from the trailer. But um, after watching this, I know that it's at least going to be halfway decent. So I look forward to that movie even more now. So I would suggest this movie if you enjoy these types of films. It's a realistic movie and not everybody likes that sort of thing, but I do. And I'm going to give this movie a, a 7 out of 10. Alright you guys, I'll see you on the next review.